Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable Adobe Flash Player on the Google Chrome web browser. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, we're going to begin by opening up the Chrome web browser, however you normally would perform such an operation. And you want to go up to the top right corner and left click on the menu icon. Currently in this version of Google Chrome it's three vertical dots, but there might be different iterations of it in the future, so just keep that in mind. But you want to left click on the little menu icon up in the top right. And go down and left click on the settings option near the bottom. So once you're on the settings screen here, you want to scroll down until you get to advanced. And left click on the advanced button right there. And now underneath the first category, underneath privacy and security, you want to go down and left click on content settings, control what information websites can use and what content they can show you. So left click on that. And now there should be something that says flash, that should come right up. It says ask first in my case, so I left click on that. So it currently says ask first, which is recommended. If it is turned off, so if it looks like this, it'll say block sites from running flash. If you want to just enable it to ask first, so it might get a little pop up with the plugin saying that Adobe's been blocked, you want to run it. So at least you have the option. If it's currently in this position, it will just be blocked in general, and that's probably why you guys are on this video. And if there's any specific websites you want to permanently allow to show Adobe Flash content, just left click on this little add button right here, insert the website, and then you pretty much be good to go once you click on the add button. Same would apply for the block section right above it as well. And that should honestly be about it. I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.